Hi, the Magpie, and welcome to a Monday. This Monday, I'm here with a Casio CK200, probably the coolest but most pointless Casio keyboard boombox ever made, and it is really, really cool. At least visually, since it has this boombox sign with a silly little keyboard on it. It's one of only three, maybe four, boombox uh, keyboards that I know of. Um, there might be a lot more, I don't know. But yeah, it's one of only two that I know Cosio has made. So they have made this one, the Cosio CK200. And then of course, they've also made this one. <laughs> The Casio KX101. I don't know which one is the most famous. Like, I'm pretty sure that you've seen this one, but I'm also very sure that you have probably seen this one. Very probably. At least as a meme or something like that, where, you know, a lot of people like to repost the picture and being something something music studio at home something something uh, like i don't know what i don't know memes but yeah that's like 100 percent based on the form factor and i think it's a very recognizable form factor so that's why i believe that many of you have probably seen it but i doubt that as many of you know that this is simply a pt1 stuck to a boombox whilst this one being a PT30 stuck to a boombox, but with a lot of quirks. Like this one, quirky. It's got a lot of stuff that you can do with it. So this one I'm gonna do in a later video. I'm gonna put it down now because it's super heavy. Oh. Well, yeah, just like the CK10, which I have made a video on, the CK200 is also just a PT1. So these two are e equally lame. <laughs> like one of them having only a radio uh, accompanying the, 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 the PT1 shenanigans. The other one, of course, having radio, but also tape. So I had very high hopes when getting this one that I would be able to do tape loops and stuff like that with just the silly sounds of a PT1. A PT1 then also being, as I got into more in depth on this video, being a, a sort of slim down VL1 as far as functions goes, which is like super lame because they just got rid of the most good functions and stuff like that. So, but yeah, it seems as though these two and the PT1 and also the bigger one, which ah, is not at all as the other ones, this one, the CK500, like all of these were released at the same time, it seems. But yeah. Since this one actually works, and it's really cool, and it's got two cassette thingies here, I'm not that bummed out about the fact that my unit here doesn't really fully function as far as the tape recorder goes. So, gonna focus on doing more with that with this one. And that one, in turn, is just gonna end up being a shelf sitter, where it sits, and looks really cool, because that feels like what it was made to do, stupidly enough. Kind of pointless. Hacking it and stuff like that, that I also do in the video on the CK10, it's not something that I intend to do for it either, since I have already done it with this one. And I feel like, I don't know, so I don't have a great relationship to my feeling. But of course we're gonna touch it in a second, but I wanted to say first that I know of five Cosios with tape. I know of this one, I know of those two that I showed you. And then of course the TA-10 that is uh, actually really cool. I'm gonna make a video on this one also pretty soon. Something that I probably wanna maybe hack. Then they have like a secret Cosio that I don't think a lot of people know about. So that's number five then. So it would be really fun if you wanna put down in the comments if you know of any other Cosios with a cassette player and if you don't then you have something to look forward to because perhaps I have catched them all as cartoon uh, people say. All this primarily to say that there's a lot of videos coming up that you can look forward to in the realm of strange Cosio obscurities but as far as the CK200 goes and making some sounds with it we are actually gonna look inside because I've already lost the screws. Like I have no idea where I put them, but I unscrewed it to see if I could get the tape thing to work. However, that 
ended up being harder than anticipated. <laughs> but if we are to start anyway, we might as well start with the keyboard. And the main thing that this one has going for it is that it's got in insanely loud speakers. I just had a hemorrhage based on knowing how loud they are. Like, that hurt me. Now, if you've ever wanted to have a really loud VL1 or PT1, then this is what you should get. Other than that, it's got all, you know, the PT1 stuff, memory play, a volume that is like a clicky switch, and piano fantasy violin flute, as far as tones goes. And rhythms! You know, the classic rhythms. also have some outputs and a mixing mic because you need a mic when you mix and we on the other side have three bands of radios we have FM, SW and MW and with those you can make some really really cool uh, noise stuff if you feel like it. I actually I know of shortwave if that's SW but MW it's a midway or something? Having that filter control, kind of cool, kind of cool. Sort of haunted, but yeah, uh, filtered, nice. Wish I had that on all the Casio. Too bad you can't combine video with <laughs> But of course, that's a hack I did on the CK10, so that's probably just as easy. And I say probably when knowing that it is just as easy, because if we open it up, what we have here, like this whole section is attached with a few screws. So what you can do is quite literally unscrew those and then slide it out. And then in here, you have the same PCB. You have the same PCB that you find in all of those. So really easy to circuit pen if you want to. Really easy to do the radio hack if you want to. It very much is just what it looks to be, which is a boombox with a Casio keyboard slid into the top. It's like they bought a boombox, removed the top, slid in a Casio keyboard top. That's about it. So it's very disappointing for those of you who thought it was anything cooler. The more you know, the less you enjoy life. But yeah, as I stated before, like lastly, sadly, I'm unable to record cleanly from the keyboard, but it did record something. I mean, you can do some spooky stuff. I think it might just be that my unit, sadly, haven't aged 
with that much dignity in as far as the tape goes, which I don't think is necessarily uncommon at all, but yeah, it, it's a thing. This is kind of comforting to listen to, however. Ah. So, I really just wanted to make this video primarily to like show what the CK200 is. For those of you who knew that it exists, but perhaps didn't fully grasp how indistinguishably pointless it is. <laughs> like, let's just continue appreciating how it looks. And in upcoming videos, when I look at Cosios that are not simply a recased PT1, I'm gonna make some music. But in this video, I don't know, I'm just gonna swim out like this. And I wanna tell you about Magpie Panels. So if you don't know, I make stuff, and you can buy the stuff that I make. So there's a link in the description to magpiepedals.com if you wanna check out my shop. And that's it. 